Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here, and in this video I'm going to be going over some Apex programming. So I'm going to be using the apexsandbox.io, which is a really cool, great tool which was created for the Salesforce community to practice Apex. So huge shout out to the folks that created this, and um, I really like the Apex Sandbox. So some of you may be asking, what is the Apex Sandbox. Well, it's basically leak code for Salesforce or for Apex. If you don't know what leak code is, it's just a website where you can go and practice your development skills in many different languages. They obviously don't have Apex, um, but you can go ahead and test your skills with different practice problems and stuff like that. So today we are going to be looking at problem number 18, which is in the uh, Apex 101 section. So the first one in here. And if you want to follow along, all you got to do is go to Apex Sandbox and uh, log in when you logged into one of your trailhead orgs or something like that. Um, and actually, I encourage you to, to follow along. So um, go ahead, pause the video here. Try this question out. I actually mean it, try it out and then come back and let's see if we have the same answer. So go ahead and go to Apex Sandbox IO, uh, get logged in and give this question a try. I'll give you a second. All right, I've given you a second. Now, um, let's see if we have gotten the same answer. So let's go ahead and read the problem here. This is based on or given a person's age, return true if the person is a teenager. So between the ages of 13 and 19 uh, is teenager. And so this is the example or what's going to kind of be coming through with the method. So if they send you a five, well, five is not 13 or between 13 and 19. So that's false. And if they give you a 15, well, that is true because it uh, is between 13 and 19. A few other things, since this is our first one, let's kind of take a look at how this kind of works as well. We've got a little code editor over to the right. There is a method. So if you're not familiar with methods, it's something you're going to need to kind of brush up on. I have, uh, you know, sections on methods in my development course, uh, but we have a method with a parameter of an age and that's an integer. And then, you know, when the values come through, we need to do something with it. There's also uh, down here the execution results so we can run this and I generally when I get started with this I just like to run it and see what happens um, so we see that we're getting some errors here uh, saying that we're you know there's some asserts going through so some test class stuff that's going on here and it's saying that you know none of this worked properly or the return type required was boolean so we're just completely off there but just starting out I like to just run them now uh, to finish this out let's read the hint um, and once again, this is just for practice. I'm going to read the hint every time if they have one. I'm not going to try to, um, I may try to figure it out at first, read the hint, and then, you know, redo some sections of it. So this is saying that we need to use, or the hint is suggesting that we need to use an if else statement to check if the age is between these numbers and then return true or false for that. So if you are not familiar with if else statements in Salesforce, let's make sure to practice our Google foo and stuff like that. So I'm going to actually do a search Salesforce if statement. Let's see what pops up. Now we've got a couple things in here. Let's check this one out. So these are the developer guide docs and this will go over um, everything in Apex that is about if, if statements. So, or at least the, the basics of it. Checking this out here, we can see the basics of an if statement. So since the hint was telling us to do an if else, I'm actually going to copy that. And there's a nice little copy button over here as well. And there's the else portion. So this is showing us how to write a different style of if statement, saying that they're equiv equivalent. And let's jump into actually completing this. Going to paste in what we had inside of the editor and we've got to fill out some of this stuff. First thing I'm going to do is add in uh, some curly braces so that our code looks a lot cleaner. Now this isn't required, but it's recommended so that our code is a lot easier to read. Okay. And now 
feel like. Yeah, perfect. Um, now what we want to do is start filling out our Boolean condition. So if we look at the hint, this is saying that as long as our age is greater than or equal to 12 or less than or equal to 19, then, uh, you know, we, we do our decisions here. So how I would write this is since age is the value that's coming through, I would say age greater than or equal to 13 and our age is less than or equal to 19. And if we just kind of read this, you know, if, if you're 13 or if you're higher than 13 or if you're 19, less than 19 or in between that range set, then we need to, then we're in the correct area. If not, we need to do something else. So that's our, that's our else statement. Um, so we don't need to like save our code or anything. Let's actually hit run. And some of you who have done program kind of know like what's going on next. So we're getting an error here saying that we're missing our return statement. And in Apex, we can, since our method is a, has a Boolean type, we need to return a value of a Boolean. So we can do something like return false since it's a Boolean. And this will get us right for some of ours, but other ones that it'll, it'll be false. And if you're not familiar with Booleans, uh, let's see if we can Salesforce developer methods. Okay, let's once again, practicing our Google Foo, let's check out the method calls and see if we can figure out what this return thing is. As in Java, methods that return values can also be run as a statement as a result. So anything that has this um, return type, we need to actually have a return for it. Jumping back into our problem, in our second statement or our else statement, it's going to be not 18, just going to put some nice comments, is a teen. And I'm also going to write our return true in here. So if this is true, we, we meet this criteria, we're going to return true. If this is false, or if we don't meet this criteria, then we need to return false. I'm just going just gonna to clean this up a little bit more. Let's run this and see what happens. So we've got all of our tests passing in here, everything, all the criteria that we've wanted to meet. And you can see all the different tests that it does. So it sent in 19, it sent in 20. We can see all of that information in there and it worked out perfectly. So this works out great. Just one other quick tip for everybody else. There's actually something called the ternary operator. So let's see, Salesforce ternary operator. Did not spell it right, but that's okay. The ternary operator is a shorthand way of writing an if statement, generally only used for like one-liners and stuff like that. So we could have used a ternary operator in here and it would look something like this, return age greater, well, I can just steal this from here. We do that question mark that we were seeing in here, question mark, and then for whatever our true value is, if that evaluates true and whatever our false value is, value is to false. Now we have a ternary operator expression in here. Let's run it and see if we got it correct. Perfect. But one last way of kind of like reducing this down, simplifying it is actually this expression is a true or false value, right? We have it in an if statement. So we can actually just return this value in here because it this itself is going to return either true or false expressions yield a true boolean value uh, tr either true or false so there is no need to use the ternary operator in this situation we're just going to make it a one-liner and go ahead and save this so we see that we got our nice confetti and uh, everything is looking good. So that's it for this initial question. Um, if you didn't give it a try yourself, go ahead and give it a try now. Even if you know the answer, it's still good to type it out and go through stuff 
yourself. This is how I learn. This is how you uh, will will learn doing more programming and getting more used to it. Uh, I'm probably going to keep this series going, just doing a few different problems every week. So let me know what you think about them. If there is ways that I can improve or something you would like to see on this series, let me know. If you did this a different way, also put it in the comments down below. I'd love to see it or in a Git repository. But that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Walters954. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I believe in you.